let T be a matrix representing a linear transformation on vectors with real components. The transformation is from Rm to Rn. What are the values of M and N? We need to be careful here. When we have a linear transformation, it's normally given as T of X equals AX, where A is the matrix and A is an M by N matrix, and the mapping is from Rn to Rm. So notice our matrix is matrix T, and the mapping is from Rm to Rn. So let's make sure we understand what's happening here. To find the linear transformation, we find the product of matrix T and an input vector X. And the product will be an output vector, which we will call vector B. We can say each vector B is an image of vector X under T. Let's go ahead and set this up by starting with matrix T. And matrix T is a four by five matrix. And we know when multiplying matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix, which means vector X must have five entries, or as a matrix, be a five by one matrix. Where the components would be X sub one through X sub five. And we also know the product will be a four by one matrix, which represents a vector in R4 with four components. If the image is vector B or the product is vector B, the components would be B sub one through B sub four. Because the input vector has five components and the output vector has four components, we are mapping from R5 to R4. Which means M is equal to five, and n is equal to four. In general, when we have a matrix transformation, the beginning vector space is indicated by the number of columns in the matrix, and the ending vector space is indicated by the number of rows in the matrix. Again, matrix T is a four by five matrix. Because there are five columns and four rows, we are mapping from R5 to R4. We can also notice that the elements in matrix T would be the coefficients of the equations that result in the components of vector B, where we have four equations with five unknowns. I hope you found this helpful.